Whenever there is a balanced passage of scripture in God's word, it's here in Exodus 34. In this chapter, we get a balance of God's holiness with righteousness and his grace with mercy. You see, previously, the Lord gave Moses 10 commandments upon two tablets of stone and made a covenant, made an agreement with the people of Israel. And when Moses returned from the mountain, having been with the Lord, he found everybody worshiping false gods. Moses was angry and he threw the tablets down and he broke them. So here in 34, the Lord has Moses again up on the mountain, but, but this time Moses is kind of in a timeout. <laughs> he was to cut the tablets out personally and the Lord would write them again. The people, they blew it. Moses blew it. And how would God deal with them? I love this. The Lord deals with them sternly, but with grace and mercy. Listen to what he says in verse six. The Lord, the Lord, a God, merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness, keeping steadfast love for the thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgressions of sin. Moses did not exhibit a slow to anger attitude or mercy with his people, but he received mercy and he received grace. At the same time, if he or his people will not receive God's grace and mercy and repent, they will experience his holiness and righteousness. Verse seven continues, uh, the Lord will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children and the children's children to the third and fourth generation. Our God is a loving, merciful, gracious God who is slow to anger, but he's not just the good old boy upstairs that we should trifle with. So after renewing the covenant with Moses and his people, we read one of the most beautiful accounts in the Bible, I think the effects of Moses spending time with the great I am. Verse 29 says that Moses did not know that his skin, the skin of his face shone because he had been talking with God. He had a veil on it when he met with his people. Talk about, talk about letting his light so shine. Church, you and I can have the same effect in our lives because Jesus, the Son of God, has fulfilled his covenant with the Father, has died upon the cross and rose again. We experience such grace and mercy no matter how bad we are, no matter what we've done. And when we spend time with our God in prayer and study his word, not only will our countenance shine brightly, but our words will be seasoned with wisdom our hearts governed by his holiness, and our attitudes will reflect grace and mercy with one another. Paul writes in 2 Corinthians 3.18 that, but we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the spirit of the Lord. You are so greatly loved, so go and greatly love.